I was 14 when I came uh, and I grew up in Toronto. So we immigrated as a family and then we landed in Toronto and I spent 10 years uh, in Toronto until the graduation of my BFA and then I came to Montreal after for the MFA studies at Concordia University. I was a teenager right before I was uh, I was leaving, so like I was starting to have friends, and I also had my first love <laughs> right before I was coming back. So those things I remember, like those kind of relationships that I had with my friends, but also place that I left from, like the the neighborhood that I spent my you know uh, teenage years and then the childhood. Um, they stayed with me for a very long time and still stays with me, <laughs> stays with me till now. Uh, yeah, mostly the places. So I lived in those neighborhoods. It's the apartment complexes in outside of, like a little bit outside of Seoul. Um, I spent most of my childhood there including like my teenage years right before I left for Canada and they um, those neighborhoods uh, went through um, a redevelopment like a very like large-scale redevelopment and then they were taken down actually in 2017 so they were demolished and now there are new constructions that are going up so I basically heard about it like heard about the news that they're gonna do that in 2016 um, and I was like debating if I should go or not but at the end like I had to go like there was no question about it. I really had to go and see it. So I arrived when they were just about to close um, the whole area and they were asked to move out on, like at the end of June or like mid July or something. So I was there to, um, and it was kind of lucky because I got to see the, the place still sort of occupied with other, like the remaining residents and then I saw how um, how the place is kind of like changing because there was a lot of like um, people leaving things behind on the street and um, their furniture is like their old furniture is just left on the street on the sidewalk. First time I went back it, it was 2016 and then I went back two more times uh, 2017 and 18 and actually three times so 2019 so I was just there in the summer. So um, that way I got to see how it transformed in different points of time. So in a year, in 2017, um, I was able to see it demolished. So I was landed right uh, in the point where they were taking them down. And then in 2018, I saw them just wiped out, just like, you know, zero state. And then when I went back this time, it was, um, there was new construction. And it's probably already by now for people to move in. So it was something to witness like the whole thing just disappearing like it never happened and then it just like slowly uh, getting itself ready to receive other uh, people who can potentially build their lives there. So I'm still sort of thinking about what it means to go through that. If I didn't immigrate, I don't think I would be uh, necessarily a visual artist. I probably would have been a striving writer, uh, aspiring like writer or someone who is not in visual art be because English was my, not my first language. Um, somehow I found ways to express myself with visual means like drawing and photography was one of it like in my high school years so I started taking art classes and then um, and at one point I was at a summer camp and I was in a dark room like I was uh, taking a photography like special summer course and I really fell in love with it after the dark room experience. <laughs> it's uh, such an honor. 
it's such an honor. I, I, I mean, to be associated with Lynn Cohen's uh, career in this way in her uh, in her work, it's a it's a beautiful thing that happened in my life. <laughs> also, like I, yeah, it's 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 an honor because I I've studied her work and now my work is in this way related to her. Um, I really appreciate this really generous and beautiful gesture to support young artists and I wish I could do the same in the future. Um, it's yeah it just feels very supported and very encouraging like definitely definitely an encouragement for me to continue working and um, yeah it's it's just really honor. <laughs> it's an honor. <laughs> <laughs>